Hello, Michael here with a quick RenderMan 23 tutorial on how to install RenderMan for Houdini. Uh, in this tutorial, all we need to do is a couple of steps and we'll have it ready to go, but it's a little bit uh, more complicated than installing it for Maya, so I just thought I would run you through it. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is install RenderMan. Uh, you can do this by going to the uh, page that I've got listed here. And as you're going through the install prompts, which are pretty straightforward, just make sure you've got all the DCCs selected that you want it installed for, like Maya, and in this case, Houdini. Next thing, uh, depending on when you watch this tutorial will depend on what version of RenderMan and what version of Houdini you need to be running. So at the moment I'm running RenderMan 23.4 which is the current version and I will need to use a version of Houdini listed here for it to be compatible. I'm on 18.0.460 uh, so I want to make sure that my RenderMan version is compatible with that. You can download a older previous version of Houdini on the SideFX website. With these installs for Houdini, you need to have at least the indie version of Houdini as third-party renderers are not available on the apprentice versions. So once you've got both the correct version of Houdini and RenderMan installed, we need to go to your documents folder and to the Houdini 18, in this case I'm on um, 18, uh, under your documents, and we need to find this environment file. So um, I've created a backup so we can have a look at that. This is what it will look like if you haven't edited it. And this is what it looks like if you have edited it. Um, so that's what we're going to go through now. Um, I will link this page below um, if you want to copy paste this. It's probably the easiest thing to do. I'm installing for Windows so I'll show you the Windows version of this. Um, we need to go uh, to the Windows one and we'll just copy this to our environment variable and make sure that you correct the uh, version that you're working with. So here it needs to be 4.6.0 and here it needs to be 4.6.0 as well. So we can see that we've got 23.4 installing for 18.0.4.6.0. Once you've done that you can save it and continue. Um, for users that are using other third-party renderers like uh, Redshift, um, I've just commented a couple of little things for me so I can um, follow them in future. Basically what I've done here is the first three lines are the same um, and then these lines I've just put in because they'll be just for uh, RenderMan if I wanted to only use RenderMan for whatever reason. And then the path, I've got Redshift installed as well. So my first path is uh, up to there. That would be the Redshift path and then after that we've got the semicolon and then we begin the RenderMan um, path which you can see there. And just make sure you finish it the same way it goes in between the quotation marks in each so the same thing on the next line in the houdini path you go up to the end of say redshift for example 460 semicolon and and then another semicolon all the way to the end semicolon and and end your quotation marks now once you open up houdini um, to check that render man is installed correctly we need to go over to here and we'll just go to shelves and then we'll select RenderMan 23, uh, RenderMan RIS, um, and if obviously you're using a different renderer, you'd select that as well. And then you can see that it's working um, by adding, going to the RenderMan shelf, um, you could add in a box. I'm just going to add in a null so I can move this light. There is probably a better way of moving this light, but this is the way I know how to do it. Um, ensure that you um, create a RenderMan 23 ROP and you also need to create a camera. So you can see there that we're now rendering the cube and the light is functioning as expected. Um, so hopefully that helped anyone out there having any difficulty installing RenderMan for Houdini. Um, I'll be doing some Houdini RenderMan tutorials in future. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.